Welcome to my Facebook page. This is Sichamba Jacob. All right, so this question came in 2023 GCE. Uh, there are basically three inequalities. We've got this one, this one, and this over here. So what you need to do here is to just get what is simple first. It's this one, of course. So you say y is equal to a 1. So how did I get to know that uh, this is y is equal to 1? It's because of where it's passing. You can see over here, the coordinates, here it's uh, 5, 1. You can see we're just given this point. And this is 5, 1. So after that, you say y, okay, is uh, uh, greater or equal to a 1. So this is an, an, uh, an inequality, which is over here. y is uh, greater or equal to 1. But why am I saying y is greater or equal to 1? So what we basically do with inequalities, when you, you're able to see nicely, the, do, uh, the bottom part is what is shaded. Can you see this line? Now the bottom part is what is uh, shaded. So with inequalities, we get the opposite. So the opposite will be greater. So you say y is greater or equal to a 1. So that's it. So let's check the next one. The next one, of course, I'll go for this one, you can see. So we have options. We have got uh, coordinates here. We can pick. This is uh, uh, 0, 6. If, in, if, if you want, you can also pick here. This is, uh, this is uh, 6, 0. But luckily, we have been given the coordinates here. So I'll use these and these. I'll say 0, 6. That is it. My... Uh, first set of coordinates, and then I'll also get uh, 5, 1. So now, we use the idea of finding equation of a straight line. Okay? So this is a line. It's a straight line. So now, what idea are we supposed to use here? We first need to know how to find the gradient, of which the formula of finding the gradient is right here. So this is the formula you need to know. Okay? So you, you indicate this is your x1, y1, x2, y2. So you substitute. We are get, let's start with y2. Our y2 right here, it's a 1. You can see this one. And then our y1, it's a 6. Over our x2, it's a 5. x1, it's a 0. So this is what we have. So let me erase this. Since I'm running out of space, I know that this is a y is greater or equal to a 1. So now we simplify here, we are getting a negative 5 over a 5, of which the gradient will be equal to negative 1. So we found the gradient to be equal to negative 1. Okay. So now after finding the gradient, you now use the next formula. Okay. We know that our gradient is a a negative 1. So when the line is cutting two axes, the, uh, the y-axis and the x-axis, okay, right here the x-axis, you need to first find the gradient. After finding the gradient, you now come and find the equation of a straight line. So if you've done coordinate geometry, the idea that is in coordinate geometry is uh, almost the same. Should I, I'll just say it's the same, the same procedure for finding equation of a straight line. So here, we are going to get n of the coordinates, so I'll get these. So what is my uh, my y? It's a 6. So where there is y, I'll put a 6. My m is negative 1. My, my x, it's a 0. And then you say plus c. You solve for c. You find that your c will be equal to a 6. So after getting this c, you come back and write that y is equal to, our m is a negative what? Eh? Negative 1. And then our C is a 6. Remember, the formula is, is like this. This is the formula. Okay? So where there is M, you put it, your M, which is it, negative what? It? Negative 1. You maintain Y, you also maintain X. For the C, it's 6. Remember, we found our C to be equal to 6. So this is the equation. So now, what do you do with this equation? You check to form the inequality. Where is it shaded? If you're able to see, it's passing at y-axis here. So the top part 
the greater is what is shaded. Can you see? The greater is what is shaded. But what we want is uh, the opposite. So what is the opposite of greater? It's less. So it will be y is less or equal to uh, negative x plus c plus 6. This is negative 1, x plus 6. So even if I remove the, the 1 here, it will still be the same. So this is a, another solution. It's the answer for this inequality. Okay. So let me write it over here. Y is less or equal to negative x plus c, a 6. Like that. Okay. So we are remaining with one more inequality. So for this inequality, hopefully you can see it's right here. This is inequality. So you can also identify the coordinates. Here it's 0, 0. It's passing at the origin. Here we know that it's 2, 4. So we have 0, 0. We have 2, 4. So the same idea, find the gradient. This is a formula, of course. This is a formula right here. Our y2 is a 4. y1 is a 0 over our x2. Okay, it's a, it's a 2. Minus x1 is a 0. We simplify here. We're getting a 4 over a 2, of which it will just give us a 2. So our m is what? It's a 2. So if our m is a 2, we use again the formula for finding equation of a straight line. So we solve for c. Uh, I will use this, these coordinates. So what is my y? It's a 0 equal to. What is my m? It's a 2. My x is a 0. So when I solve, my c will just be equal to a 0. So now after doing that, I come back to this stage. I maintain a y. m is a 2. Okay and x I'll maintain, my c is a 0. So now to simplify this, it will be y is equal to 2x, because this is a 0. Now to show the inequality, I'll follow this line. Can you see the way it looks? I'll follow the line. So now when you look at the line, which part is shaded? It's a greater, it's a top part, greater. If you want to follow the y-axis, you see the top part of the y-axis, or the greater part of the y-axis, is what is shaded. The less is not shaded. So we shall say y, okay, is less than 2x. Now, maybe you can spot a difference here. For this one and this one, we were saying is uh, less or equal to or greater or equal to. But this time around, I'm just saying y is less than uh, 2x. Why am I saying it's less than without the equal, the equal to sign? This is because the line is dotted here. If you're able to see, it's dotted. It's not a full or finished line. It's dotted. When it's dotted, you don't put the equal to. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've learned or you are learning something out of this video. Okay? Please remember to share and uh, tell more people about this, uh, this Facebook page so that they can also learn one or two things. Thank you. Bye-bye.